On November 6, 2018, the state of Arizona will hold its general elections. A generation of young Latina leaders are part of a progressive upswing inside the Democratic Party. Grassroots activist leaders are facing off against corporate Democrats for the party nomination. If you would have asked me a long time ago if I would have been running for this position or any elected positions, I would have said no. In the current political climate that we're in, we have to step up and our community knows we have to and they are totally in full support in us doing what we got to do. It's a survival. At this political point, we know we have to do anything and everything that we could do to keep our family together, you know, if we, you know, and this is part of, you know, running for the judicial system. Giovanna Renteria is a Justice of the Peace candidate in Phoenix, Arizona. She worked for over a decade with Puente, Arizona. I've you know, fought um, immigration, um, streamline, 287G, SB 1070. Before this, I worked at um, a domestic violence shelter um, for five years. Um, I mean, that's, you know, I recently went to Tornillo to shut down the border and, and the camp out there that they have with children. I went to San Diego to fight the expansion of Streamline. Along with a group of volunteers, she had covered thousands of homes, knocking doors and talking to people even at 110 degrees, as it often gets in Phoenix. Her main proposals are to work out a way to keep misdemeanor offenders out of jail, try to work with social services instead of criminalization to resolve conflicts. We, we get the minimum, you know, here in my campaign, it's the minimum that we just have for the mailers and stuff like that. The rest is community coming through for canvassing, bringing water, um, bringing food and stuff like that. That's actually helping us power our canvassers that are going out every day. Justice of the Peace is a judicial officer of small jurisdiction claims, civil cases, traffic violations, all justice hear every type of crime that is considered a misdemeanor. And even some justice of the peace conduct preliminary hearings on felonies. You know, they do civil cases and, you know, they give all the fines there. People start accumulating fines. Um, they start um, getting those warrants because they can't afford them. Family separation starts. So people don't understand, like, how important these roles in our communities are. Renteria sees the high number of criminal codes demanding maximum penalties as a decision to support the prison industrial complex. When I decided to actually run, I, it's been real for me. My political campaign didn't start when I submitted my JP application. It started a long time ago when they were criminalizing my grandfather, my tios now my brothers, you know what I mean? And it's not something new to me. And, you know, I know all these politicians that are directly, you know, directly with, you know, these corporations. And I'm here to say that it hasn't been working, that we need that change. We need a change that's really going to help our community because our, at the end of the day, our community is the ones that's suffering with family separation. Renteria thinks that the mistrust between the Latino community and the Phoenix Police Department is a detriment to the city's safety. You know, with the politically political climate that we've been living under the our pile, you know, um, when they were targeting um, Latinos in you know different neighborhoods, um, I think that it's going to be very hard to trust you know um, the police and stuff like that. Um, they're trying to militarize our, our communities. We don't need more police. We don't need to be more, we don't need to be criminalized more than we already are. If they're not criminalizing us and putting us in, in jail, they're shooting us in the streets. Giovanna Renteria is one of four candidates for the Justice of Peace post in Encanto, Phoenix. And in her own words, the one with the smaller budget. None of the other three candidates have any critical statement about Phoenix Police Department, nor any police accountability proposals on their website. So there's a big miss, uh, there's a big connection, disconnection that we have with our police department because of how they conduct themselves on, on you know, us not trusting them.
um, this year to this date that we're cur currently in today, um, the Phoenix Police Department has killed 33 people, our community members. Um, they, none of them have gone to court, none have, have gone um, through a process where they're going to be held accountable for killing our family members. There also hasn't been a process set forth on handling these situations and de-escalating de instead of just going to basically shoot and point, shoot and kill. Follow The Real News for more on the fight for community and human rights.